Yeah, let us see what was the question given here. They are asking us to find the derivative of the what determinant, right? So before doing that one, I just want to know you the definition of that. Let us assume we have a function. Y is what? This is f of x, okay, and g of x, okay. This is uh, h of x and l of x, okay. If this is a function, if you want to find the derivative of that, we have a two ways. One thing is what? Either you can do the differentiation either row wise or you can do the differentiation with respect to the column wise. Is it okay? So what we will do here is first of all let us do with the row wise here. Means what is going to be row wise? First row derivative that is f dash of x into g dash of x. Agree? So we are done with this. Second row will be as it is plus this will be what f of x into g of x into second row derivative. What is second row derivative? That will be g dash of x into l dash of x. This is the one way of doing or yeah. So you can apply this row wise or let me give you the other formula that is what you can apply for the column wise. So what we can say y dash of x is nothing but first column derivative that is f dash of x times h dash of x. Second column will be as it is this is g of x and this will be l of x is it okay plus second column is left now. So first f of, f of x as it is h of x is also as it is second column that is g dash of x into uh, l dash of x. Either you can apply with the row wise. See, we know, right? This is nothing but a row and this is nothing but a column. Is it okay? Yeah. Either you can do with the row wise or the column wise. Agree? So now let us move on to the our question. What is our question? They have given f of x. What is that? That is nothing but cos x. Yes. And this will be sin x and it is cos x. And second row will be cos 2x. Let me write it down. This will be sin 2x and it will be 2 times cos 2x. And third row will be what? This is cos 3x. This will be sin 3x. And this will be two, 3 times cos 3x. Agree? So similarly, if I check this problem, I can say that uh, something is equal. Like uh, if you see this and this, I can say that it is column wise equal. So I will prefer the column method here. Is it okay? If I prefer the column method means let me do it. So what is f dash of x? First column derivative. What is first column? First column is cos x. So um, let me write it down here. We know that cos x always derivative will be what this is minus sin x if you have a sin x what was its derivative this will be cos x alone is it okay same formula i'll be applying here yes, if you check yeah. this cos x derivative will be what as i said this will be minus yeah. sin x second element will be what minus this is sin 2x and 2x derivative will be 2 and what about this one this will be minus sin 3x and 3x derivative will be what this is 3 first column i have differentiated yes right so I have to copy the second column as it is. Is it okay? There is no change in the second column as well as the third column. Are you getting my point here? Yes. Uh, Ma'am, no, I want to try with the row wise also. Yes, you can try. There is no mistake, but uh, it will take a little bit lengthy steps. Is it okay? But in JE, we won't have much time to solve. Okay. We have to do a little bit of a smart work. Continue. So first one is done. What I said, huh? first column will be as it is. This is cos x. This will be cos 2x. And this will be cos 3x. Okay. Hmm. Second column we need to differentiate. We know sine derivative will be what? This is cos x. Sine 2x derivative will be what? Cos 2x times 2 will be there. Agree? And sine 3x will be what? Again it will be cos 3x times 3. And third column will be as it is. So I am not at all disturbing third column. Is it okay? Yes. I will be writing this as it is. This is cos 2x. And this is 3 times cos 3x. Is it okay? Plus. What about the next term here? Yeah. Plus what we can say. First column will be as it is. This is cos x. And this will be cos 2x. And this will be cos 3x. Second column is also as it is. This will be sin x. This will be sin 2x. And this will be sin 3x. Agree. And the third column only we need to differentiate. We know that cos x derivative will be what? Minus sin x. And cos x derivative will be what? Minus sin 2x. 2 to 4 will be there. And this will be minus sin 3x. 3 times, uh, it 3x derivative will be 3. Yeah. So 3 outside 3 will be 9. Is it okay? If you feel like uh, any doubts or anything you did not understand, you just let me know it. Is it okay? Yes. If you check this clearly, we can do something here. Uh, if you check this properly, first row, uh, first element, everything is uh, completely different. And if you check the second determinant, I can say that this second column column number two and column number three or what completely same agree so try to remember the condition for the determinants 
for any two rows or any two columns any two rows or any two columns are identical then determinant must be equal to zero agree so i'll be applying the same formula here so for any two rows or any two columns okay uh, if uh, they are identical uh, let me write it down they are same or identical we can say that a determinant of that matrix will be zero agree so simply i can take this whole thing will be what this is zero agree so finally what i'll be getting here i can say that f dash of x what is f dash of x we are getting here this is simply determinant of minus sin x this is sin x this is cos x and this will be minus 2 times sin 2x this is sin 2x this is 2 times cos 2x okay and this will be minus 3 sin 3x this is sin 3x and 3 times cos 3x okay plus what is the last one because second one is zero determinant last determinant will be cos x into sin x minus sin x and this will be cos 2x this is sin x sorry sin 2x minus 4 times sin 2x and it will be this is cos 3x this is sin 3x and minus 9 times sin 3x is it okay yes so this is our done we are done no they are asking not only f dash of x they are asking f dash of 0 and f dash of 90 so let us start with the f dash of 0 agree so we know that sin 0 will be what 0 cos uh, sin 0 will be 0 if you want let me write it down here we know that sin 0 will be always 0 and cos 0 will be 1 here is it okay this is a trigonometry we will be learning earlier so cos 0 will be 1 so sin 0 will be what 0 0 times anything will be 0 sin 0 is 0 cos 0 will be 1 2 into 1 will be what we'll be getting 2 alone this is what is this sin 0 is 0 here also sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1 1 times 3 will be 3 plus again here cos 0 will be 1 na. sin 0 will be 0 this is 0 cos 0 will be 1 sin 0 is 0 this is also 0 cos 0 will be 1 sin 0 is 0 0 is 0 right uh, if you check uh, in, in any determinant if either one row is equals to zero we can say that total determinant will be zero is it okay uh, let me write it down any row or any column okay or zero or uh, equals zero or all the elements are zero equals to zero means each and every element right implies the determinant of that matrix will be zero is it okay so from this what we can conclude so one column is completely zero so determinant of the first matrix will be zero plus second matrix is also zero because the last second column and the third column in the second matrix is also zero so finally what is this i can say that f dash of zero will be zero is it okay yes so again what should we do f dash of pi by two means 90 degrees we need to check agree so now let me write the formula for that also you can remember this we know that sin 90 will be what 1 and cos 90 will be 0 cos 90 will be 0 is it okay so let me do with that oh, is it okay hmm. so we can say that sin 90 will be what 1 now so this will be minus 1 sin 90 will be 1 cos 90 will be 0 sin 90 will be 1 outside minus 2 is there this will be minus 2 is it okay yes and what about this one here uh okay sin 90 sin 90 will be one will be one and what is this cos 90 cos 90 will be zero and here sin 90 sin 90 is one outside there is there this is minus three and sin 90 okay we should we can't uh, okay see this is not actually sin 90 i just forgot to say one thing here see wherever x is there we need to replace with what x with pi by two is it okay uh, if i take pi by 2 here what i'll be getting here let me show you minus 2 times sine of uh, pi by 2 into 2 will be sine pi okay this is what this is also sine pi and cos cos 90 uh, okay this is also what it will be 2 times cos of and if you replace x with what pi by 2 2 2 will get cancelled you will be getting pi alone is it okay yes so from this what i can say so this is 3 pi by 2 so let me help you with this minus 3 times the sine this is 3 pi by 2 and this will be sine again 3 pi by 2 and this will be 3 times cos 3 pi by 2 how we are getting 3 pi by 2 we have to replace x with pi by 2 is it okay plus second row check cos uh, x is what 90 so cos 90 will be 0 sine 90 will be 1 
sin 90 will be minus 1. Is it okay? If you check this, wherever x is there, we have to replace with what? x by 2 up. So this is cos 2 times pi by 2. This is also sin 2 times pi by 2. And this is also minus 4 times sin 2 into x is nothing but what? pi by 2. Similarly, last row. What is that? This will be cos of 3 pi by 2. And this will be sin of 3 pi by 2. And this will be minus 9 times sin of 3 pi by 2. Is it okay? Yes. So, we need to solve this for further. See, if you want to do this, you have to get uh, like uh, get the formulas from the trigonometry. Remember, we can do one thing here. Let me show you. We know that sin n pi will be always 0 where n is an integer. Is it okay? And cos n pi will be what? Minus 1 whole power of n where n is an integer. Is it okay? These are the two formulas you need to remember. And one more thing. If we check, okay, let me do step by step. So, this will be minus 1, 1, 0. So, sin n pi, yeah. sin n pi will be what? 0. 0 times 2 will be 0. Sin pi is also 0 because if I take n is equals to 1, this is sin pi. Agree? And what is cos pi? Cos pi will be what? 1 now. So, let me show you. Cos pi. Pi is what? Minus 1 whole power of 1. So, this will be what? Minus. Minus into 2 will be minus 2. Are you getting my point? If you feel like any difficulty, you just let me know. And one more thing, sin, pi, sin 3 pi by 2 we need to find out, right? Let me show you. So, how can I do sin 3 pi by 2? Sin 3 pi by 2. Actually, I can write it as, actually, we will be getting a value easily, but I will suggest you how to do it. Is it okay? So, sin, I can write it as a pi plus pi by 2. Is it okay? So, this is in the form of a 9 uh, pi, if you take this quadrant. See, in trigonometry, I will help you with this, okay? This is 0, this is 90, this is 180. 180 plus theta is in which quadrant? Third quadrant. In third quadrant, if you check this, ASTC. What is the meaning ASTC? All uh, sign and its reciprocal. Because again, let me show you. All trigonometric angles are positive. Here, sign and its reciprocal. Cosecant are positive. T. T for what? Tan and its reciprocal, which is cot, are positive. C for what? Cos and its reciprocal, that is secant or positive. Is it okay? Rest of the things are negative. Are you getting my point? We can call this, uh, let me show you, this 180 and 0 or what? Unchanging angles we'll call. Is it okay? So, what I can say is sin 180. 180 plus theta. 180 is an unchanging angle. This is sin 90 we'll be getting. 180 plus theta. Plus theta means which? Which quadrant? Here. Third quadrant, right? Third quadrant sign is negative. This will be minus. So, just now we have seen sin 90 here. What is sin 90? That is 1. Agree? So, this will be minus 1. Is it okay? So, let me show for cos 3 pi by 2 also. What is cos 3 pi by 2? I can write it as cos of pi plus pi by 2. Right? Pi is what? 180. 180 plus theta is in which quadrant? Second, third quadrant. Agree? And we can say that uh, cos is, uh, pi is an unchanging angle. This is cos pi by 2. Agree? And in we know that, uh, okay, fine. This is in third quadrant, cos is negative, minus. What is cos 90? Just now we have seen that is 0. So, cos 3 pi by 2 will be 0 alone. Is it okay? Yes, you can take it as a granted. Let me substitute. Sin 3 pi by 2 will be minus 1. So, minus 3 times minus 1. Sin 3 pi by 2 will be minus 1. 3 into cos 3 pi by 2. What it will be just now we have said. That is 0. Is it okay? Yes. So, this will be 0. Plus, this will be 0. 1 minus 1. So, uh, if you check this here. Uh, previously, I have done directly. Now, let me do. 2, 2 can I cancel? Here also, 2, 2 can I cancel? Here also 2, 2 I can cancel, which is inside an angle. Agree? Cos pi. Cos pi will be what? 1, 1. N is 1. If you take here, cos pi will be minus 1. So, sin pi, sin n pi is 0. And sin n pi, sin n pi is also 0. Agree? And cos 3 pi by 2. Just now we have seen. What is cos 3 pi by 2? That is 0. So, take it as a 0. Sin 3 pi by 2 will be minus 1. We have seen just now here. Is it okay? Yes. And uh, sin 3 pi by 2 will be what? Again, minus 1. So, minus 9 times minus 1. Are you getting my point? If you feel like any doubts in this, you just let me know. This will be minus 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, minus 2, minus, minus, plus 3. This will be minus 1 times 0, plus, this is what? 0, 1, minus 1, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, uh, yeah. And it will be 0, minus 1, minus, minus, plus, which is 9. So, what should we do? We have to expand the determinant. Agree? So, how to expand? Let us take the first element. That is minus 1 into. I have to eliminate that row and that column. If you are a new, let me help you. I have to eliminate. Let me highlight with this. 
whenever you are doing you have to eliminate that row and its corresponding column okay then you have to take the rest of the things what is that rest of the things determinant okay so 0 times 0 will be 0 minus 1 is plus again minus 2 is it okay yes and again it will be plus 1 into okay it should be minus here see uh, i'll uh, show you how to do the determinants in those separate video you just check there how to find the determinant of a any matrix is it okay this is minus times so what it will be second element means second row i have to eliminate second column i have to eliminate zero minus one is plus six and last one will be zero as it is right plus what is the second one check it first one is zero this is minus one times eliminate that row eliminate that column so this will be what this will be minus nine minus zero again it will be minus one into eliminate that row that column this is one minus zero yes any doubts in this simply i have expanded the determinant so from this what we can conclude here this is minus minus plus two minus six plus if you check this term what it will be minus minus plus this will be nine uh, minus one okay so from this is uh, two minus six will be what minus four nine minus one will be what this will be eight so eight minus four will be four this is our final answer what is this this is f dash of pi by two yes so I think so in this single problem, many topics are included like a trigonometry, determinant, derivatives, finding an angles. Yes, if you have any doubts, you just let me know. This is our final answer. I have found f dash of 0 and f dash of pi by 2. Okay, thank you.